Hi, Rohit. How are you? Able to see the screen? I love you. Hi, Kaushik. How are you? Can you hear me? Yeah. See, uh, when we started our discussion about uh, control and coordination in uh, animals, uh, what movements? Okay, as an important factor, like uh, in what way we classified movements? In animals, in our body, hmm? a movement in animals, voluntary movement, involuntary movement, visible movement, invisible movement. Yes or no? So, what are voluntary movements? Under our control, thinking is involved. In what example? Yeah. Involuntary movements. You, you don't know to think it will happen. Example: beating of heart, respiration rate, rhythm maintenance, everything. Okay. So visible movement. Hmm. When you walk, it is visible. The muscular movements is visible. Fine. Invisible movement. Digestion. The respiration. The air is entering. Air is moving. But you cannot see. So visible movement, invisible movement, voluntary action, involuntary action. So like that only we discussed. Okay? Fine. Here, in plant, the movements can be, or uh, the control and coordination, little different way. Okay, it is going to be studied in little different way. Because there we studied voluntary action, involuntary action, visible movement, invisible movement. But here, in other aspect we are going to study. Means, growth related movement, growth unrelated movement. Okay, in what way we are going to study? Because plants do not have a nervous system or muscular system. 
they do not have it okay so the coordination system in plants is connected with what the movements again we are going to classify it with what movements and this movements we are going to classify into two types one is what yeah very good nastic movement what is called nastic movement growth unrelated movement okay not they are not related to growth okay nastic movements are movements which are not related to growth growth related movements are called what yes trophic movements can you see nastic movement and trophic movements are the two important ways by which we are going to consider the coordination there are two type of movements by which only plants coordinates their functions regulates their functions controls their functions is it clear fine so for the first category nastic movement okay what example they are going to take and uh, see one more common thing for these two thing is actually the factor which stimulates control and coordination is actually called what stimuli stimulation stimuli is very very important what are the two type of stimulations internal stimulation external stimulation okay the intrinsic factor extrinsic factor there are internal factors which cause stimulation external factors which cause stimulation okay first we will be discussing about the external stimulations okay external stimulations okay so the coordination is assessed by how the plant reacts towards the external stimulation okay the control and coordination is assessed how on what basis how the plant responds to the stimulation is it clear fine first example is actually nastic movement growth unrelated movement so what plant they are going to take sensitive plant or touch me not plant or mimosa okay mimosa family okay tamil la enna solvanga totanchenimi yes i know that the plant if they are going to take it as an example okay how the plant shows some kind of movement based on the stimulation what movement it shows what it shows when it touch the plant what it shows if you touch the plant when you touch the leaves of the plant they begin to fold up and drop can you understand so that's one example look at here this is the plant touch me not plant when you touch here the sensitive plant look at that how the plants initially looking and now look at that what happened to the leaves so they are folded see they are open here okay and they are fold it here can you understand so like this they are present but if any touch touch is an internal stimulation or external stimulation external stimulation when you touch all of sudden the plant closes its leaves okay what causes this electro chemical means signal transduction okay what is the reason for this this movement is because of what it's a parent in its movement happens because of what see look at that the plant uses electrochemical means to convey this information from cell to cell okay this movement external stimulation reaches 
there are some electric signal transduction occurs okay what occurs electric signal trans molecules only chemical molecules makes the leaves to close suppose this is nastic movement or trophic movement it is nastic movement see because of the opening and folding the plant is not going to grow can you understand so this is one example of how plant coordinates based on its external stimulation okay fine what next example they are giving germination of seeds okay this is opposite what happens when you see the germination of seeds seed is there it germinates what will happen what will happen what grows seed lesson what will develop plant what are the two parts of the plant shoot and root so how shoot grows shoot okay it moves from the ground and grows up root grows down see this movement this is related to growth or not yes it is related to growth seed germination see tasmanian plant is example for what nastic movement so this seed germination can you understand so this also like this is actually related to trophic movement trophism you know the different types of trophism what are they phototrophism geotrophism hydrotrophism now germination of seeds shoot shows shoot shows positive phototrophism negative geotrophism root shows positive geotrophism negative phototrophism so that movement is related to what trophic movement can you understand so how control and coordination is studied in what aspect trophic movement and nastic movements trophic movement and nastic movement can you understand fine so growth is not involved in touch me not plant but movement of seedling is caused by growth okay can you understand okay so based on this two different type of movement one dependent on growth other independent of growth based on these two type of growth only plant order control and coordination is assessed can you understand fine so what forms the basis that's what is given here in sensitive plant no growth sensitive plant no growth is involved the movement response to touch okay so that is because of what electrochemical means from one cell within the tissue from one cell to other cell signal goes and then slowly in the match box la adiki vechirpaanga velaidu vaanga paathirkeengala lot of uh, match box something or point thatti uttu da enna agum ellame gudu 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 nikke edu similarly like that so one see one unit to other unit one cell to other cell electrochemical signal transaction little for simple sign everything will show some kind of movement that is what happened in nastic movement of course another example for nastic movement touch pore stimulation kaath adikide plant enna avu move on but that is also not related to growth wind a force is applied to the plant so it moves Mm. Ah, your uh, force nee or fan set panta uh, plant ay priye thallite iruka or force continuously applied ah apdi valaruma sir kandipa valarum always it is bent ipdi dhan poradhukku nariya chance irukku 
ஏன்னா சில நேரத்தில் சில பிளான்ட் பார்த்துருக்கேன் பார்த்து அடிக்கும் போது லேசர் சாஞ்சிடும் இப்படியே வளர்ந்துட்டு இருக்கும் கேன் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் பர்மனன்ட்லி பிக்ஸ்டு பட் லைட் இந்த பக்கம் தான் இருக்குன்னா வளர்ந்துடும் பட் தெர் ஆர் டாபிக் மூமெண்ட் இட் வாட் லைட் நீ பிளான்ட் இப்படி சாச்சிட்ட பட் லைட் இந்த பக்கம் இருக்கு நீ ஃபேன் வச்சு இப்படியே கொடுத்துட்டு இருக்க யூஆர் குஷிங் இட் கண்டினியூஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ளோ பட் லைட் இஸ் ஆன் திஸ் சைட் வாட் வில் ஹேப்பன் இப்ப இந்த இடத்துல ஒரு பிளான்ட் வைக்கிறது பிளான்ட் எங்க வளரும் போயிடுவோம் அப்படி போக ஆரம்பிச்சு அதுக்கான கெமிக்கல்ஸ் எங்க கிடைக்குதோ அங்க போக ஆரம்பிச்சு many examples are given here like uh, climbers creepers uh, plant order different types enna na hmm climbers what how do they grow uh, so maybe or chinna kaira kuda irukala which is a non living component or another tree so with the help of some supporting structures like tendrils okay like tendrils or other units hooks are there tendrils are there hooks are there based on that the plant can attach to other part and then it can grow hmm? that's what anything anything any non living or living material so the purudhu it can grow is it clear so again a tropic movement so that movement tropic movement system can be modified for that purpose sometimes root can be modified okay sometimes leaf can be modified see naturally they show root and shoot show movement towards the influencing factors also they show modification in their bodily part to support their movement growth related movement to support growth they move maybe climbers move like this creepers what they will do the watermelon plant la pathinga na creepers ah like uh, they grow on actually stem should show what stem should show positive phototropism and of course negative geotropism but here the creepers climbers will go of course like that but the creepers what they will do grow on the flat surface floor okay soil surface sandy soil or whatever they grow like this can you understand means they balance both phototropism as well as geotropism but still they grow what is the purpose of growing to hold it na periya fruit the stem is so thin it is not strong enough but the fruits if you see the fruits are this much thick wait unnal kodu thukka mudiyadu okay so to hold that it needs a support and it, it should get lot of water little little roots only they do not develop tap root system what is called tap root system primary root and then major portion is primary root and then secondary root tertiary root but here in creepers you see only fibrous root stem in internode get some root and then in internode some roots another nodes actually nodes they get some roots manage their nutrient water absorption everything photosynthesis everything it performs can you understand so for that also it modifies okay the growth pattern should always positive 
or uh, negative geotropes and always it go away from nothing like that in creepers there are some kind of modification in climbers some kind of modification can you understand because there also roots even in stem part prop root what are called prop root prop root have you heard about it alla marathila vilundirukom paathirkeengla actually stem stem should show what positive phototropism negative geotropism stem that's a function of stem but here root is modified stem is modified what it develops stem la irundhe prop root varum which shows positive geotropism can you understand it shows positive geotropism from stem apdiye keela varum prop root from the root of amide so in tropism is the main thing and plant shows lot of variation in its tropism but all are connected with the movement related to growth can you understand fine so what are the different uh, like um, generally the response to stimulation slowly by growing in a particular direction but also like uh, mm. oh you can't see natchi new column ipo da apacha just now nothing is wrong in this device right hi kaushik are you listening kaushik yes sir vankat and kaushik yes sir yes sir hi vankat hi sir Vangat, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Kaushik, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Say yes, sir. hi, Kaushik. Sir, I'm going to get a bus, sir. If you have an online letter, I'm going to get a bus, sir. Oh, I'm going to respond to the number. Sir, can you hear me, sir? Kaushik, yes, say yes, sir. hi. Yes, sir. ஒன்னாங்க <laughs> Oh, sir. The voice is echoing. Oh, yes, the voice is echoing. Okay. Well, okay. then, sir. Are, are you there? there? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Just, Just a minute. minute. The, it will be sorted out, sir. Okay? Okay, sir. Sir, you can mute the ring, sir. Sir. can you hear me okay so listen see first the external stimulation light okay the environmental uh, stimulation external stimulation light and then we will go to gravity so look at that as we discussed earlier when the seed germinates 
um, look at here. The shoot is positive phototropism. Okay, movement, uh, the tropic movement related to what? What is positive phototropism? Root shows negative to light. It moves away from the light. Okay, the external stimulation is light. Root and shows in general shows variation. Okay, fine. And next look at that. This is opposite to that. Shoot this negatively geotropic means gravity. What is the second factor? Gravity or gravitational force. And uh, roots are positively geotropic. And then, so hydrotropism and chemotropism. What is hydrotropism? Water. So, root shoot. What shows positive hydrotropism? Root or shoot? Roots show positive hydrotropism. Shoot show negative hydrotropism. Okay? So, light, gravity, water, and chemicals. What examples are given for chemicals? For chemotropism, growth of pollen tube towards ovule. Do you remember? Where the pollen grain lands? On stigma. Okay, pollen grain lands on stigma. Okay, here the pollen grain lands and the pollen tube develops here and comes and fertilizes the ovule. The exact. Okay, so this again chemotropism based on molecular recognition. So the chemical which is there in pollen tube attracted to the chemical which is there in the ovule. So, so that only the movement occurs. So this is Hmm? When you dissect, you can able to see. Okay? No, it is enclosed, right? It is a closed structure, hollow structure. Okay? Stigma, ulla hollow war. Angada, pollen tube will develop. So you can dissect the part and you can observe. It is seen. Okay? It can be observed. Okay? Fine. So, this is one example for what? Movement of pollen tube towards ovule is an example for what? Chemotropism, chemical influenced movement. Okay, fine. Next. Here in animals, you know, controlled even in animals also we have growth which is very controlled what example is given here is what are the chemical factors which controls growth in animals chemicals which controls growth in animals hmm? what chemicals controls growth Chemicals. Okay. We have hormones like growth hormones. They only makes in you know, a gives us controlled growth. Look at it. Both of our hands. We follow left right pattern. Left is components present in the left of same to the right. Namaloda rent pako image or emardar. That is 
பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் லைக் உங்களோட பிரைனோட எந்த சைட் ரொம்ப ஆக்டிவா இருக்குன்றதை பொறுத்து இந்த கையும் இந்த கையும் ஒரே சைஸ் தான் நீங்க பாருங்க உங்களுக்கு ஒரு மூக்கு இப்படி இருக்கு இன்னொரு மூக்கு டாய் உள்ள பெருசு இருக்கா நாஸ்டல் ஒன்னு இவ்வளவு பெரிய ரொம்ப பெருசா இருக்கா கண்ணு இங்க இவ்வளவு பெருசு இருக்கா கை இந்த கை மட்டும் நேரா இங்கிருந்தே போய் ஏசி சுவிட்ச் ஆன் பண்ற மாதிரி இருக்கா நோ திஸ் கெமிக்கல்ஸ் இன்டர்னலி மீன்ஸ் இன் அனிமல்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ஹவு கோலன் டியூப் எல்லாம் இன்டர்னலா கண்ட்ரோல்டு க்ரோத் சிமிலர்லி லைக் தட் இன் அனிமல்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ஆல் பார்ட்ஸ் த க்ரோத் இன் சர்டன் டைரக்ஷன் லைக் ஆம்ஸ் ஃபிங்கர்ஸ் த க்ரோ இன் ஒன் டைரக்ஷன் அண்ட் கண்ட்ரோல்டு ஓகே ரெண்டு லெம்ஃபும் டெவலப் ஆகுது and the growth is controlled can you understand what chemical actually they are meaning hormones is it clear fine so like that how hormones controls see hormones are what vijay lakshmi ore siripa irke chemicals okay hormones na enna sonna in the growth ella control pandradukana ipo Light, see light, water, gravitational force, இது எல்லாமே என்ன ஃபேக்டர்னு சொல்றோம் எக்ஸ்டர்னல் ஃபேக்டர் வாட் ஆர் த டூ இன்டர்னல் ஃபேக்டர்ஸ் இவன் இன் அவர் பாடி விச் கண்ட்ரோல்ஸ் க்ரோத் ஒன்னு ஹார்மோன்ஸ் இன்னொன்னு okay, then படிக்கிறதே கண்ட்ரோல் அண்ட் கோஆர்டினேஷன் சிஸ்டம் நர்வஸ் சிஸ்டம் இம்பல்சஸ் தே ஆர் திசிக்கல் காம்போனன்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் பிசிக்கல் கோஆர்டினேஷன் சிஸ்டம் கெமிக்கல் கோஆர்டினேஷன் சிஸ்டம் வாட் இஸ் அவர் பிசிக்கல் கோஆர்டினேஷன் சிஸ்டம் பிரைன் ஸ்பைனல் கார்ட் நியூரான் நர்வ்ஸ் இதெல்லாம் தான் பிசிக்கல் அவனோட மீன் என்ன எலக்ட்ரிக் இம்பல்சஸ் கெமிக்கல் கோஆர்டினேஷனுக்கு தான் என்ன ஹார்மோன்ஸ் in animal body hormones illaya based on that in the impulses everything physical even in the electric impulses physical component hormones in and pathanama so in the impulses they get generate ah hormones nam enna solrom chemical component or chemical messenger Yes or no? In humans, in the two substances, we regulate the control and coordination. Regulate. Okay? Fine. Uh, why you should know about all these things? Physical and chemical coordination system. Okay? But in what way you can compare these two plants? Physical coordination system and chemical communication system. in what way you compare this two plants hmm plant la enna kadaiyadu ah appo kandipa enna system irukka poradhu illa perusa in the nervous system irukka poradhu illa but namakitte irukku only it is special in actually animals so appo plant internally how it coordinates produces lot of hormones plant hormones okay with that hormones only internally it regulates all the growth externally growth is stimulated by light water gravitational force internally of course chemicals also internally mainly hormones stimulates growth in plants in general animals they have both physical and chemical coordination system but in plants they have only chemical coordination system no physical coordination system specifically is it clear okay fine now what are the plant hormones 
plant controls its coordination by hormones. What are the plant hormones? You forget all these things? Yes. Axin, uh, gibberellins, cytokinins, abscisic acid, and then ethylene. Ethylene. Okay. Do you remember how these hormones are classified? They are also called what? Plant growth hormones are also called what? Plant order hormones are also called what? What are the other name given to them? They are also called what? Phyto hormones. They are called what? Phyto hormones. Okay, they are also called what? Phyto hormones. Plant hormones are also called what? Phyto hormones. And how they are classified? Actually, they are called what? Growth. Yeah. Regulators. Very good. Growth regulators. Why they are called the regulators? Control the growth of the plant. That's it, regulators. And regulators, growth regulators are classified into Growth stimulator and growth inhibitors. Okay, what are growth stimulators? Axins, gibberellins, cytokinins are called what? Growth. Stimulators, abscisic acid and ethylene are called what? Growth inhibitors. Inhibitor means what? They just stop the growth. Okay, growth inhibitors. Now, specific function of all these hormones. What axin will do? Okay. Seed in the shoot develop root all growing parts. Apo plant order length. If a shoot tip layer as well as it is there in root tip also. Okay, so growth of the plant. Okay. Main growth factor in the accent. First thing in a growth. Root and shoot growth. Action order function first end of solving yeah? root and shoot growth. Okay. Shoot root order growth. Action down. Okay. Fine. Second function in end of bending towards light. Plant bandha. towards light bend agradic in if a plant is here, if the lights bend down, in that thala, yenna irinda da, which promotes bending, action. In the bending, in the region, let's see, listen. This is the plant. It should bend like this. Apo, inge yahar accumulate down in the shaded region to light region. Inge yahar rumbo accumulate down. Action inge accumulate down. If push pan nee da, you go go. I mean push pan nee So plant appears to bend towards light. It's because of what? Action. Okay. Axin, shoot order, root order, tip, axin, grow longer, cell tissue grow longer. Okay? So, it is the accent to help. Okay? Fine. Next is actually, jipper lens. Help axin, growth of the stem. Between nodes, and the internodal are elongation of the stem. Elongation of the stem, yeah? Cheaper lens, which supports um, in the jibber lens. Can you understand? Accent to support one more jibber lens. Stem elongate agar between the nodes of the space. And now, next hormone is 
மெரிஸ்டமேட்டிக்ஷு அதாவது ரூட் எபிக்கல் மெரிஸ்டம் ஷூட் எபிக்கல் மெரிஸ்டம் இன்டர் கேலரி ஆ லேட்ரல் மெரிஸ்டம் அங்கெல்லாம் ஆக்டிவ் செல் டிவிஷன் ஷுட் அக்க ஸோ ஃபார் தேட் வாட் இஸ் ரெக்கர்ட் சைட்டோகைனன்ஸ் சைட்டோகைனன்ஸ் இஸ் ரெக்கர்ட் ஸோ சைட்டோகைனன்ஸ் செல் டிவிஷன் ப்ளஸ் இன்னொரு எக்ஸாம்பிள் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க பாருங்க ஃப்ரூட் ஃபார்மேஷன் சீட் ஃபார்மேஷன் சி இங்கே நம்ம கொஞ்சம் கன்ஃபியூஸ் ஆகிடுவோம் ஃபார்மேஷன் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரூட் அண்ட் சீட் யார் தேவை என்ன தேவை இன்ஹிபிட்டர்ஸ் <laughs> abscisic acid inhibits growth in the old part ella replace agaradhu old leaf old cork idella replace agaradhu dead cell idella edukku yaar theva abscisic acid can you understand it causes aging of some part of the plant appo da eng part mattu grow aagite irukum ipo plant la இப்போ ஒரு பிளான்ட்ல நிறைய பிரான்சஸ் மட்டுமே இருக்குன்னு வச்சுக்கோங்க இப்ப தென்னை மரம் வருது ஓகே தென்னை மரம் எப்படி வளரும் பழைய மட்டை விழ விழ தான் புது மட்டை வளர்ந்து பிளான்ட் போய்கிட்டே இருக்கும் பழைய மட்டையும் இருந்து அதுவும் சாப்பிட்டுட்டே இருந்துச்சுன்னு சொன்னா ஃபுட் அது ப்ரொடியூஸ் பண்ற ஃபுட்ட எங் பாட்டுக்கு கொடுக்குமா ஓல்டு பாட்டுக்கு கொடுக்குமா of food it it is going to produce it should be it is young part or old part appo old part should be replaced ipa nama in our body uh, one gram of cells die skin cells etana gram one day one gram of cells but nee adala vida maatan vechirka what will happen ஒன் இயர்ல உன்னோட பாடி மேல எவ்வளவு டெட் செல்ஸ் இருக்கும் ஒரு நாளைக்கு ஒன் கிராம் இன் ஒன் இயர் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபைவ் கிராம் வாட் இஸ் யுவர் ஏஜ் நோ ஃபோர்டீன் ஓகே த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி ஃபைவ் கிராம் of weight waste cells only will be there enna avanga unakku marathoda pattala irukku par apdi da irupenga if this old cells are not replaced enna saapiduva epdi maintain pannuva so that maintenance function cannot be done properly if old part remains as such no aging apdi nu sonna in the maintenance part e nadakka that's why
Kaushik, can you hear me now? I think they left. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Okay, fine. Next. Example of plant hormone that promotes growth. Axin, gibberellins, and cytokinin. They promote growth, especially here, axin. Okay, promote growth. How do axin promote growth? How do axin promote growth? Hmm. They are synthesized in uh, actively growing part, okay, which makes uh, the plant to move. Support what? Support what? Phototropism. Phototropism. I can support phototropism. Okay, and that's why tendril, with the help of tendril, the climbers can move, stem can grow towards like. Fine. I think in your book there was an experiment called uh, hydrotropism to demonstrate. See, what is hydrophonics? What is hydrophonics? Hydrophonics. Have you heard about this term? Hydrophonics means usually plant if they grow up, where it grows. Soil, it grows. You will be soil love, the substrate there, right? you'll be adding water. You know, it absorbs nutrients, it grows. Hydrophonics means no soil. See, in a water bottle. Only water is there. Because in soil, it, we should supply a lot of water and it gets little. But in the method of hydrophonics, limited amount of nutrients. Only required amount of nutrients is dissolved in simple form. So like sodium, potassium, calcium, chloride, nitrogen, phosphorus, magnesium. So like that, limited substances is added, dissolved in the water, and the plant is kept. Small plant. So the root absorbs, it grows. And you can see how the root grows. Okay, you can generally in uh, the soil, you cannot see how the plant uh, root grows. You can very well observe how the shoot grows. So, if you do hydrophonics, you can demonstrate how the root also grows. In a transparent water bottle, you can see how the root grows. Growth of root can be observed. What is that method? It is called what? Hydrophonics. Okay, it is called what? Hydrophones. There you can see, demonstrate how the road grows. Okay, fine. So, anyway, with this, we will stop. Any questions? Next class, we will discuss about the hormones in animals, chemical coordination system, the glands and hormones. Small. Okay? So, what are the things which we discussed today? Mm. 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 Okay, very good. Elastic movement means growth uh, unrelated, not related to growth. Tropic movement related to growth. Okay, fine. So, nastic movements controlled by external stimulations, caused by external stimulation, controlled by electrochemical cell to cell signal transaction. Electrochemical cell to cell signal transaction. Then, nastic movements. Okay, fine. And then different type of trophic movements. Hydrotrophism. What are the external factors and what are the internal factors? Water is the external factor. Very good. And then phototrophism. Light is the external factor. In geotropism, gravitational force is the external factor. 
of course root and shoot shows different uh, in a kind of movements but there are exception also root means oh, my question whether all the root show only geotropism positive geotropism hmm? Hmm? no stem always show positive phototropism or negative geotropism no means there are modifications okay in plants there are modifications which the movement is vice versa also can occur okay the movement can occur vice versa also from stem root can occur from root to stem can occur okay storage function the root also can do food is stored in the stem but in root also so changes its function root can do respiration it can come out uh, in moss land in plant so what are they called nematophores nematophores means what huh? nematophores இருக்காங்க <laughs> are modified to perform a specific function so there are some modification also ye in the solve now sometimes they may ask you questions uh roots of mangrove forest plants shows positive geotropism negative geotropism what you should write uh, always root shows generally root shows positive geotropism but only in mangrove forest it shows also it shows negative geotropism so that modification so depends upon the kind of questions asked you have to answer is it clear so fine so aware of the plant hormones and then their specific functions here in one liner it is given but in your yellow book accents natural accents synthetic accents there are natural accents and synthetic accents okay so that example will be given for every hormone accent is a group of or not this one hormone class of hormones what are iaa what is iaa iaa indole 3 acetic acid iaa means what indole 3 acetic acid which is a class of accent type of synth natural accent there are 2 comma 4 comma d one hormone called what 2 comma 4 comma d capital d actually that's a synthetic accent can you understand so all this thing extra information you can get only from your study material so please go through that also okay anyway so take care thank you koshik thank you koshik the question is not there sir okay vangad take care vangad thank you thank you sir bye bye sir